ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojo Sheldon. The head is big for a reason and uh, settings are different. Um, I'm not going to show you the location. If I see this, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but on this episode of um, Convo with the Head, uh, different settings, different conversation. I have a special guest. We are coming to have a conversation from music to lifestyle to everything. Yeah, All the things that, he, I mean, he did throughout the year. It's been an amazing year for him, and I'm sure he wants to share um, a part of him with the audience out there. So um, I know we'll talk plenty for this intro. On this episode <laughs> of Come Over There, I have King Promise here with me. Big man, how are you? God bless my okay. King. Me cool, oh, man. My break, my break. My break and now both shows, I. Me and son. Me and son. Yeah. And how you did, you did, you did feel the move like that, and I mean maintain, sustain your energy to make sure. So because I'm sure you go on stage and it's not just about yeah. let me come and mime. You have to put out. Yeah, the yeah, performance. yeah. Yesterday I performed a live band set for like two live of the, two of them and one be just uh, with a DJ. Bro, if I say I know how they do them, I they lie. Mm. Sometimes you I don't mean, know how you do them. Nah, cause I be I I, I tire pass, but also I love what I do, so it doesn't really feel like work. So your body. Tell you it's okay now nah, they shut down. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's not a healthy lifestyle. Yes. But we did try fitness um, in a How way. How do you take care of yourself? Your your mental health, your everything, because it's important. I rest, bro, when I can. Because mm. I don't really get a lot of it. So when I can, I just try to sleep, just spend time with family and watch football. I don't really do too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Or you go, you go go play foot. You say you don't, really do, you don't do too much? Oh, I wait till you see. I wait till you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, 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 I don't do too much. I just okay. do, I just do work. Okay. If I know the studio, okay. I do house. Okay. okay. You know That's cool. Yeah. But then, um, twenty twenty three, can promise, it has been an amazing year for you, and next year is going to be madness. But from January till now, um, from your tour, you toured about sixteen countries in Europe. Yeah, man. Just um, trying to position yourself to a different demographic audience. Um, um, playing your songs to them, selling out auditorium, doing all these things. How was the experience for you? At that moment, you decided, I'm not going to do this thing in my comfort zone again. It's about time we present our content to the world. Bro, the thing about me and my brand and my team is that our mindset has always been yeah. global domination. Okay. It's never been just home because we believe, say, waiting we get, you know, <clears throat> it's more than of the best standards to, to, mm. to have it globally, you know, yeah. go everywhere. So it's it's been a thing where I went on my very first tour yeah. right after I blew up, like the year after. Yeah. But it wasn't like a world war tour. It was just we chose some few cities. Yeah. So now we've gotten to the point we we do an actual world tour, yeah. and you know, from America to you've played Europe, festivals to the UK, and everything. Exactly. Like I said, mm. the main focus has always been global domination. Mm. That's what has always fueled this this drive, and okay. you know, it's been intentional. But yeah. So in the course of I mean, undertaking this global domination thing. Um, you are the way you present your content to, let's say, local audience here. Yeah, is different from how you present it to the people out there because you are not targeting only Ghanaians in the diaspora, right? Yeah, it is very different kinds of everybody. People. Everybody. So, how do you then come up with like a set list? Let's say this is how I'm, this is these are the songs I'm going to perform, but this is how I want to disseminate the information to the audience. It depends on where I'm at. Yeah, where they go, like. If I did London mm -hmm. or I did Oslo, mm -hmm. I can literally just check my numbers on mm. the back end. Yeah. I see this is what these people are listening to. Mm. These are my their favorite King Promise songs. Mm. This is a top 10, this is a top 15. So you they take and that, I, they make informed decisions. Yeah, of course. They start driven like, decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, also, I do ask, like, I, like, I believe in traditional, you know, ways of doing things. Yeah. So I ask, like, the girls, like, what you guys like? Or the DJs who are in that seat, I'm like, What's popping? Like, what's their favorite? What comes on and they go crazy? Mm. You know, it's just really simple things. Yeah. You understand what I mean? But also very um, detailed information as to how the demographic yeah. is taking my music in. Yeah. So it's not just... But also, sometimes, like, for example, Quab just asked me, we have a show tonight. He's yeah. asked me if we're using the same set list from yesterday, and I said, no, I'll change it. Okay. Because I'm going to be performing at an art show today. Mm. It's different from performing from at like the that, no. end of year party yeah, or yeah, a wedding. Yeah. So all those things inform my decision as to okay. what to perform, where and when. You know. So you're, you are very particular about the creative input. Of course. Whatever. So on a scale of let's say one to ten, how much do you contribute to? I'm let's very say? hands on. Ten, three thousand percent. Mm. <laughs> hands on. You just choose hands everything. On, your songs, hands everything. Hands on. Do you know like, that? In like, my beats, mm -hmm. in the studio, I come up with melodies. Yeah. 
I can direct the producer as to what I want exactly. Okay. Um, I write all my music. Okay. I choose my drip. Okay. I mean, until I don't <laughs> have the drip time. Side, you know? Until I don't have time. Mm. Then I have a stylist, yeah. um, Amelia. She's in London, so she can actually help me fix things when mm. it's just too much. But if not, I don't mind just walking into a mall okay. when I travel and just picking up stuff. Cause okay. I, I like me. What's my IC? If I like them, that be your. What be your fashion? Uh, what be your fashion? Fly, bro. Fly. Who you pity? Fly. Fly. Fly, bro. Yes. Just... But how then do you? So this thing, this fits that you, you did sit here before. Yeah. It be dope. So how then do you walk into a room and say, okay, I, let me choose? Because me, I find it very difficult. Yeah, yeah. To me, shout out and say, ah, oh, boy, we're genius. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Uh, you know, like I said, yeah. what till what they nice my eye? Okay. Like, if I come on to her, I see something, I'm like, okay, mm. I like this. I okay. think it will look good. Mm. Then I, I have so many things in my closet. Mm. Sometimes I just do match, match them together, you know, just match them together. Like setting um, events or certain platforms where mm. I feel like I, I have to do certain kind of stuff. Because... Mm. You can dress normal and you can dress like you actually have a concept. Okay. So that's the only time where I'm like, okay, this, da, da, da. but if not, what's in my IDC? Is it expensive to look in promise? Eh, you can say that. Because the people say, but I listen, affordable legit. Listen, my brother, this one, <laughs> uh -huh. I buy on like $50. Okay. Really, but I will still also have something where I buy on like $2,000. Okay. So I, I don't really, it's not really about a brand, mm. like a name, it's about how it looks. Okay. It could cost 200 Ghana, mm -hmm. but if it looks good, that's all that matters to me. Mm. It could cost five thousand. Mm. If I said okay, I have three hundred thousand in my account. I don't mind buying a five thousand mm. thing. I'll do it. Yeah. Understand? But it's just really and truly not about brands, but how you look. Because you go if you wear Gucci, 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 yeah. still, they look drunk. Yeah. You know go enter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, can't join. No, my dream is quite same. But anyway, let's let's do some terminations and turns here. Yeah, man. Terminator. The first day you posted the snippet to the song, I shared it on Twitter. Yeah, they came for my hair. Oh, you can probably really, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have screenshots. Twitter, they try well, well, not to really. Do I know. Don't worry. Myself for Twitter. Class. Yeah, but then when I posted it, I took screenshots of people in the comment section saying, "Say this is off brand. What are you trying to do? This is not like maybe a top tier song that is going to catapult you." Is Fast it? forward. Off brand. Why? Yes, because King Promise is not going to sing about Terminator. I have screenshots of that. So that is the conversation out there. Then fast forward, boom. When you were creating this particular song, did you anticipate this kind of feedback or this kind of acceptance for it? Or it was just, let us try something out? So me, I know they overcalculate okay. my music, like life in general. Yeah. I like to live how I feel. Okay. And I do that in my music as well. Mm. Terminator is something we, you know, it was a crazy end of the year for me last year. Yeah. And it just, I nearly made it get to me. I'm being real with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I nearly made it get to me because I don't really, I'm very nonchalant. It's not yeah. get to me. I just, as long as I'm not stepping on anyone's toes, I'm yeah. fine. When I was making the song, it was just based off how amazing the year had been and how it could just switch at that point in time. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, you were a soldier, Charlie. I know where I'm coming from. I know how hard I fought for this, how, how I dreamt of this and, try, and tried mm. my everything, my very best to bring it to light. Mm. I was, I'm just at the point in life where I know that in my heart, mm. oh, I'm living by the 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 the, the right codes, yeah. and I'm not stepping on no one's toes. And people might not understand me, and it's fine. Like mm. not everybody would understand you. You might be misunderstood. Yeah, you might be loved. Someone will hate you. It's fine. So I just do my thing, and yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I put this in the music, you know. Okay. So I. Literally was just having fun. Just having Literally fun. It wasn't just calculated. Bro, QB sent me three beats that night. Mm. And I listened to all of it. I actually started another one, which I've never finished till today. And like I said, I don't like calculators. When I was doing it, it just felt like I was forcing it and I just stopped. Okay. And I played another beat. And Terminator just came to me straight. It just came. But I guess I was really at the point in life where I felt that way. Like, it was, it, this is true, bro. It's facts. Mm. Mm. You understand? Like, me, I know they care for a stunting. Mm. I only care for money. Money. I never cared for perfect. Talk to them. As long as I'm happy. Mm. Say me, I know for shout, they know me. Mm. Hey, young boy, but I know G. Okay. Six years, no be small thing. Small thing. Since I ended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I'd live some old. Well, yeah. Shit. Really, like yeah. six years in the game. Yeah. Um, It's not a joke, bro. Okay. Just, just doing this and putting mm. Ghana on the map in a different way. I, bro, from my heart and my soul, mm. I do this with like true passion true passion yeah. and you know the belief that what we have is so special that 
we can also conquer the world with it because we see our fellow um african brothers and sisters yeah. do it as well so why not us yeah. so bro i'm here like f bro when i was on tour i was the only Ghanaian on tour at the time yeah I was. and then i see like the next city that's miracle that's omali that's rema and i'm like they're moving like a pack and yeah i'm moving it's kind of moving alone bro yeah i'm like you see broom together exactly yeah. and we just it, it, it's, it's just such a huge fight that i i realize it's a bigger thing than just being worried about mm. things that are gonna derail my movement yeah that's all oh, that's terminator i'm mm. like no this is a bigger is a is a bigger thing mm. than it's, it's even bigger than me bro mm. so i just said how i felt on the record and but how then do we get our brothers to move like a pack instead of because if you are touring, there is somebody that is supposed to be out there that is stuck. So collaboration. Yeah, Let's man. say collaboration, they are basic underlying factor. Yeah. How do we make get to this level where moving like that, you know, these people no go see that as competition? Bro, that's a problem, bro. I don't know. It's just the mentality of even us as Ghanaians, bro. Okay. It can like I always say, it's not us against each other, it's us against the world. Mm. You go shock you say your own brother, we bro, I'm not gonna say names, but I was in London sometime. Mm. There was a concert. Mm. By Ghanaian artists, I was literally there. I'm like, oh, and um, Sark said, oh, pull up, da, 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 da. and I say, yeah, why not? You know, they didn't let me do the thing. Mm. I'm like, wait, are we fighting ourselves? I actually came to show you guys love. love and like, I can, carry I can actually sell out the venue. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, respectfully. But I'm like, yeah, these are our people, bro. Let's let's come together. Let's let's do this. It's for Ghana at the end of the day. Mm. But I don't know what that. Niggas see this as competition yeah. rather than us being there for each other. Cause bro, I've been on several stages. Like Wiz put me on the stage. Yeah. Um, Omale, whenever we're in the same city together, he'll pull up to my show. I've seen, I um, pull up to his show, Mayo Kun, everyone, bro. Mayo Kun. Exactly. Pull up and to these are not even Ghanaians. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And they have their own crowd, I have mine. But mm. because I know what I have, I don't see nobody else in any competition, bro. Okay. I'm not really scared of nobody. And I'm on, I'm in my own lane. Like okay. I'm making music that I love. For people who actually love and support me yeah. and even for new people who don't know of me like for me every day is the beginning of my career to me because mm. a lot of people just found me off terminator okay some have known me since thank god and that's mm. not what i mean yeah so it's really a journey that's not ending mm. so i i don't compete with nobody but mm. i'm trying to be a better version of myself every mm. day you know and the moment where we as Ghanaians don't feel like it has to be me over this guy rather than it has to be us against everybody else. It makes sense. Someone wants to go and say, I done it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, okay, me, so I what, did you, what, did, what did you do for everybody? Okay. No shit, bro. Okay. But Terminator, right now, we've had the, the Young John remix. We have transitioned yeah. to the Sean Paul, um, Tiwa Savage remix. When are we getting that Marie one? <laughs> also, where, I mean, by then, me too, I sing. Why are you not putting me for top? You shall, you shall. Me, I shall. Yeah. I am a sad guy back in your friends. Can't see? <laughs> the two of you. Listen. The mad people. Maddie, can make our audition. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no can spot my day. No problem. <laughs> you say make I no can spot in day. Nah, bro. This, this is like, so, anyway. But um, so the, the remix, uh, are we yeah. getting the Amare one? Honest fact, I don't think so. Okay. There was plans, but then timelines and okay. schedules, you know, everybody has their releases, okay. priorities and stuff. So mm. it just didn't happen. Um, mm. I mean, we already made a record, but okay. then, you know, clearing and hearing there was just long, you know, for both of us. She didn't. This is she, beyond the artist. No, no, no. Label beyond, issue. Beyond. Amari okay. is my G, man. Okay. I love Amari so much. Okay. I reached out to her. Okay. I reached out like, yo, mm. you want to do this record? And mm. she said, yeah. And she done it. But there are people that are also saying, I, I had a conversation with a guy at the pool and he said, you are over remixing the song. How? Oh. As in, we've had the young John one, which is supposed to be the end of it. You go your way to put it. The guy was so angry. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask crabs, bro. The guy wanted to strangle me too. Bro, you see, music business, <laughs> it's like football. Everybody thinks they're a coach. Okay. Put them in the game and they can't play shit, okay. bro. It's like FIFA. Mama <laughs> part, mama <laughs> part. <laughs> Our people, mm -hmm. instead of, it's not, it's not support blindly, right? Yeah. But I'm doing something to push the culture. Okay. My music is, breaking boundaries and territories you know that even i didn't expect mm. for like for indonesia for me to go number one in indonesia yeah. like Philippines. You understand what I mean? young john was strategic okay i really love young john mm. and his music you know so i was like bro you got like a certain kind of vibe that i like that goes with this thing and it was for a certain target market and it's work now we're doing like the caribbean market yeah 
a okay, global sure. remix. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Not just for a certain crowd. Yeah. I could even do a Latin remix. Okay. I could do a Spanish one. Okay. Okay, I made the answer then. We, we, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, I just seen Davido do... um. Unavailable. He's done like four or five remixes. Unavailable. There's an album for Unavailable. Bro. There's an Unavailable. And, and we love it, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know, has Lado on it for America, yeah. has Sean Paul and yeah. Ding Dong for Jamaica. Yeah. Um, bro, you understand what I mean? Then that brings me to this question. Like, Ghanaians need to understand okay. the music business mm. is bigger than just what we want home. Mm. Bro, sometimes, most of the time, we bro, chai, you know, it blow a Ghana, maybe one year ago, I think it blow a I drew on them, okay. And you get it like, ah, you guys are listening, this is, when you go back home, it's not really, mm. but, it's different territories and how things touch there. You understand yeah. what I mean? Like Terminator Blue in Nigeria really, yeah. truly, then... You started to pick up. You understand? Yeah. Check my monthly listeners. Mm. I can tell you my top 12, where Ghana is. Mm. It's not in, in number one, bro. Uh, we don't have to go there, we beg. <laughs> you understand? We don't have data. It's not. <laughs> but it don't mean that they don't love and support yeah, me. Yeah, they do. This is my home. This is where I'm from. I actually make the music because... Cause I'm from here. My influences are from here. Yeah. And Ghanaians supported me first. Yeah. Before everybody heard of it. But you know the thing about it, there's a way where it's like they love you and they hate you. Okay. You know, so you just have to be careful. Do you think sometimes the music consumers, the fans, they they act like they know more than the artists? Because recently Kujuki did a song, basically profiling how content consumers, music consumers, try to dictate to artists how, like, your colleagues are selling O2. What, what are you doing? Like, they are the ones spearheading this kind of conversation. You just explained to me the marketing dynamics of yeah. what you are trying to do with the remixes. Your audience or your fans might not know it. Some will love it, though. Some won't, okay. and it's fine. It doesn't bother you? Listen, I was born for this, bro. Mm. You see what I'm doing? Born for this. I was born for this, bro. Yeah. This is God's plan. It's not my plan. Mm. And however God decides it will go, it will go. Yeah, some people sell O2 out. Like, mm. some artists come like Michael Jackson and they blew up when they were like, what, 12, 11? Yeah. Not everyone's going to blow up like that. Okay. Jay-Z blew and was 30, eh? Mm. Does that make him a failure? Nah. He might have not sold Madison Square Gardens out, you know, in his in early on in his career, but can't if he do it now? recently that he won the Grammys. Exactly. Yeah. But it doesn't make them any less of an artist. Everyone's journey, trajectory, is different, bro. Okay. So you just have to also know yourself okay. and where you're trying to head to. Mm. If not, there'll be noises everywhere. Like, okay. like I said, some will love you, some won't love you. You and just close fine. your mind and you move on. The music consumers uh -huh. are like football fans. Okay. Everyone is a coach. Okay. <laughs> What's on me? I'm armchair pundit. <laughs> Everyone is a coach. Okay. And they have the right. Yeah. To say how they, they consume feel. your content, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. So, as a coach, do you focus on your game and make sure you get the right tactics? Okay. Move, or you go, then you have to listen to the three billion people. Can you make a decision? Okay. No. Is that where the, okay, so you wanted to be a footballer? I have not told the people. Oh, yeah. Is that what I think the, I've said it a few times. You have said it a few yeah. times. So for those wondering why he's referencing football <laughs> tactics, and people know I like football. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. like... but promise land. Yeah, I didn't know promising. What are you promising us? Ah oh, man, mini jazz. Yeah, last year they now. Maybe we talk about last year. It just damn crazy. <laughs> What bro. what were you going through last year? Because uh, as you bro, say that, I was, you stress. Then yeah, the nah, people was, blow the issue out of proportion, bro, make, make your body bounce. That's what I'm saying. I nearly made it's it crazy. Like, get to me, bro. I nearly did. And then, I, like I said, I realized, bro, this is bigger than just me, bro. I just <laughs> done a whole world tour. It, like, I need to be on track. Bro. Yeah. I just prayed to God. My team, we yeah. just had our head screwed on, focused. And God being so good, bro, you saw the outcome, bro. Yeah. It was the biggest promise. But like before even yet. the outcome, people, uh, you, there are people actually. People actually go to. Show yeah, they took they pictures. Took pictures, making it look like. You it, saw bro. it, how? I did. Bro, nah, I call a bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But listen, you need to have thick skin to be yeah. in, this, in this um industry, in this mm. business. It's, it's really not for the meek. I'm going to my castle. I'm I saw sabotage. It was a boycott. Hey, promise. Get boycott. Um, promise. Mister Dian, why are you saying? Would you be? Would you be? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. But, but fast forward. Bro, I mean, it went on to be successful. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like I said, it was. Yeah. It's the biggest promise land yet. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So it just goes to say, obviously, people felt away. Yeah. And we passed that chapter, and you yeah. know, I'm just thankful. You know, after that, just keep going. Just keep doing it for Ghana. Keep doing it for the people. 
which is the most important thing, bro. Mm. And lesson learned. Mm. You know what I mean? The lesson learned. Most of these are bad. Obey the. Obey the. But me Kasa. I never. Yeah, you know they talk to. I never. <laughs> I never <laughs> you know his offense. I never speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, the issue there. You know, be about Tamu. It be about somebody. Wait and drag out for his. Yeah, yeah. Hey, forget this issue. Go, then, make, no, no go. Promise land. Promise land. <laughs> yeah, you can't promise land. Yeah, man. Yes. So this year, what are you promising um, us, bro? You have to deliver. Cause I'm not promising. Yes, I. I always deliver. Bro. Oh yeah, you deliver always, like a midwife. That was like a, a doctor. Bar. Do I did deliver. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. You get me? No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. When I'm a Troy. When I'm a Troy. Yeah, man. What's the midwife in the MFA? But doctors know me. Then my head ain't a midwife. No, midwife no, I'm a deliver. I'm a Hennessy deliver. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, bro, it's about to be the craziest experience yet. Yeah. Me and my band. Okay. Uh, you are right now tilting towards live band. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, not about miming anymore. Yeah, like, like all, my major, all my major shows, yeah. I, I I do that. Like, uh, from London to Amsterdam. To, to do that? Every promised land I've done live band. Okay. Yeah. So it's semi live. It's yeah. a band together with a DJ. Make it feel more. Okay. Understand. Yeah. Um, so, bro, our rehearsals has been crazy. We've yeah. been doing it for a few weeks now. Mm. So you can imagine. Like, what do you mean to stage and next to see our crowd will smash it? Mm. Like, I'm ready for it. Um, the setup, yeah. stage. Mm. You have to see this I don't stress the, the plans we have for this year yeah. is nothing that we've ever done or seen okay. back home in Ghana. Mm. So, and even my surprise artists, like okay. my friends who are going to be on the stage with me, mm. um, just know that you're coming for a, a total experience. Mm. It's not just a concert, it's an experience. It's very big, but it will feel intimate. Mm. It's like the main concert, concert. behind the whole... Okay. Um, setup that we're doing this year mm. and just know the quality like the standard in sound in light and stage in the total experience is going to be off the chain this is expensive right very expensive how hard is it for like an artist to individually find some of these things very hard <laughs> very hard sometimes I, I think sometimes all you do is break even sometimes okay. you lose like my first two promise land i lost all. okay we didn't make you're but, still doing it why yeah, yeah, no of course. after that we made money Okay. You know, you, you build it. You build, it's like music business. Like, when you sign a new artist, yeah. I'm kind of like on the executive side as well as, you know, just being an artist. Okay. Like, I, I, I have the know how. Okay. You sign an artist, you don't expect to make nothing for the first two years. Mm. You're just investing, Invest. growing it. But it drew, but being also a talk, I can't see you anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Where investors have invested in artists. When they broke into the limelight, it was like, bro, who bro, this? Listen, <laughs> listen. Mm -hmm. The smartest thing to do is, is to have contracts. Okay. People are kind of like scared of contracts. Mm. But if you know you're going to do your job diligently, why are you scared of contracts? Okay. Those contracts will alleviate these kind of issues. Like, mm. You don't end up in situations like that because it's stated clearly that I do this, you do that, we get this, we, we go. We go, okay. It's really simple. Mm. It's a business, it's not boys, boys. Yeah. Like, have you. It, it's, it's it really is a mm. business, bro. So, and if you have something signed on paper, people are forced to do what they have to do because yeah. you are it's have, binding. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the mistake that you know. Me, I'm not scared of contracts. Okay. I'll do my part. So yeah, this year, Promised Land, okay. um, amazing um, plants that we have. Like I said, the music, the sound, and we've had a very good year. You know. Yeah. I literally drop one song, and before the year ends, okay. like, you know, let's add perfect can be and now. Mm. You know, by God's grace. Give me your five going. perfect combi when it comes to food, football, and then it like name five perfect combi yeah. for you. Uh, me and Chelsea is a perfect combi. Okay, one. Come get Kina is a perfect combi. Kinky. Yeah. And Kina. And what? And then and then and then Nam. And then Nam. That'd be triple combi. Okay. <laughs> Come get Kina. Yes. Perfect combi. Two perfect combi. Uh huh. Tequila. And lime. Oh, okay. When life gives you lemon. With the goom. Tequila and lime. Okay, that is um, three. Me and music. Okay, that's four. Makes sense. You and women. Me and beautiful women. Ah, I mean, I can't crank about me. If you don't talk this thing, you'll vex me. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to experience perfect combi on stage. Are you bringing, yes, yes. Um, I mean, these featured artists on, on stage that day? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a smash. Mm. Talk to them. What you're going to experience, you've never experienced. Okay. Time of your life, time of my life. I'm gonna give my all. If you ever, if you've ever seen me perform or seen me on tour, you can expect nothing but the absolute best. Five okay. star energy. Mm. 
Feminita, Perfect Combi, Selfish. Like, mm. from when I started till now. Mm. You have some crazy body of works out there. Yeah, though. man, it's crazy. The albums, the... Like, the catalog is yeah. it's beautiful. Do you sometimes sit back and go like, Tale I overreach, my minya. Like I said, <laughs> to me, every... Mm, like, every new day is like a starting point for me. Okay. Like, I always feel... I never... I don't sure say I ever feel like, oh, I reach. Okay. Like, I'm the type of person if... I want one, where I get one, I want 100. Mm. When, I, when I get 100, I want 1,000. You're greedy. No, I'm just a go-getter, bro. Okay. <laughs> you understand what okay. I mean? Okay. Like, why stop when the the world is your oyster? You understand what I mean? Oh, boo bend the parables. Oh, bro, me kill me. My co school. Hey, bro. Education is important. Anyway. Yeah, man. So, yes, yeah, Promised Land is happening uh, yeah. on the night in the music, 26th. 26th December, uh, La Palm. Mm. La Palm, okay. Uh, we'll start on time this year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now, nah, last, last year was Please. just. It was this just, year, yeah, yes, yeah, no, yes, no, no, no. You're going to love it. Okay. Yeah. Because I'll be there. I'm a media partner. Of course you are. Wow, man, tell me, dear, and nobody in your mouth, YouTube, Nisu. This guy will go for you. Oh, yeah, no better in your mouth into the album. But I trust that you put no, in no, no. every effort. It's gonna, it's gonna yeah. be very professional. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So, um, tickets and how is it going? Um, very simple. Yeah. Um, my website www.iamkimpromise.com. Yeah. Or star seven two five star nine zero eight zero hash. So you go guma and all. Say tickets and say affordable. Very affordable. Yeah. Obi, I want it. Yeah. So again, star seven two five star nine zero eight zero hash on the website www.amkpromise.com I think we've covered... I think we're going to put some in stores as well. Yeah, in stores, okay. Yeah, All right. Soon, yeah. I think we've covered, I mean, me, the music here and the review and everything. Next year. Yeah. Since you you say you know the tie and next album. year. Yes, album. I'm already in album mode. Album mode. Almost done, actually. E. Bro, I day. Bro, I love making music, bro. Mm. Like I said, I was born for this, bro. Born for this. So next year, you are getting the album. 10,000%. You're getting singles. Singles, album, videos, tour, um, collabs, um, merchandise, mm. even maybe movies, bro. Movies? Wow. Uh, I got approached and I'm thinking about it. I think I want to do it. Like from your, uh, me, your production no, side? Uh, or no, you are no. featuring I'm, in yeah, it? I'm going to act, bro. Okay. You are going to act? Yeah, man. I didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful conversation with Kim Promise. And um, yes, um, uh, Promise Land is happening on the 26th. Uh, the ticket is available at IamKimPromise.com. Uh, you can dial this on your phone and get your ticket and everything. Uh, beautiful conversation, big man. What do you have to say to me? Insult me. That's an idiot, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I love, bro. And okay. more grease to your elbow. Okay. I see everything you're doing. Mm. It's amazing. We met in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time. Thank you. And we bro. posted a video in a call off. But yes, um, that is where we go end the combo with the head. As you, as you can see, I come out the cab. I fuck, you know. I'm a striking promise, Nanka, sir. I'm, I'm a fucking promise. Now, oh, there, no, no. Oh, there, go I don't got you some more time. I don't got you some more time. I don't got you some more time.